Hello everyone, my name is Aaron George and I am one of Childline's Outreach Officers and today, as usual, we will be doing one of our life lesson videos and this week our video is titled Your Diet is Not Just What You Eat and I want you to think about it for a moment and for most of us, when we think about the word diet, we think about food or we think about things to drink. However, while you may be correct, your diet or the word diet could be used to encompass many other things that you put into your body. And to be specific, your diet is what you watch. Your diet is what you listen to. Your diet is what you read. Your diet would be the people that you are wrong. Your diet would do with or would have part to play with the things that you tell yourselves. All every experience that you have is part of your diet. Why? Because everything that you experience, the persons that you talk to, the energies that you are around, it will have some implication for your mind. It will have some implication for your body. It will have some implication for your emotions. So keeping in mind that your diet is not just what you eat. I just want to touch on a couple of things. What you watch. It can be very, very difficult to tell when some thing that you are watching, whether it's good for you or whether it's bad. There are movies, there are shows, there are lots of commercials, and very often these things are filled with subliminal messages. They're not always going to be very direct. You have to keep in mind that on that level, where you are sitting down as a person just watching the television. What you are watching is having an implication or having an impact on you. You may not recognize it in that moment, but it does. And it is important to understand that even the people that you are around or who you are with when you are watching these shows can impact the way that you interpret the messages that are being given in the shows. All of this to say, what your diet is, is something far more complicated than just food and than drink. And it is important for every individual to be mindful of every single thing that they allow into their mind and into their body. And this could be done through your mouth, the things that you smell, the things that you see, the things that you listen to, and the people that you are around. Keep that in mind. So let's just touch on the what you read. For example, if you spend a lot of time reading negativity, it can have a profound impact on your mental well-being. Whether you're reading a book, whether it's a magazine, a blog, a Facebook post, an Instagram caption, it's important to make sure that the messages that you are looking at are good for your health. Just like it's important for you to watch what you eat and what you drink, every now and again, do a social media cleanse and maybe even unfollow the accounts that you think may be contributing to your life negatively. Maybe the comments that they're posting, maybe the, the contributions that they're offering, the statuses that they're posting may not be good for your mental health and for your dietary needs. What you want is to surround yourself and immerse yourself in positivity. Cleanse your life. Cleanse the books, the magazines, the blogs that don't provide your mind with positivity and happiness. Like I said, everything has to be done in moderation. Very, very important to keep that in mind. And when I said your diet is also about the people who you are wrong, when you spend time with certain people, you're also taking in their opinions. You are taking in their thoughts and their overall vibe. And energy is a very, very, very important thing. If the people that you are around you, if they are negative, if they're gossipy, if they are unmotivated, you are going to take a bit of that vibe with you at all points in time because you are putting yourself in that position. Not to say that you will have to completely lock these people off or not interact with them anymore. No, that's not what it is. Like I said, 
moderation is important but it's about just being mindful that the people who are around you can have a serious impact on how you feel and how you function today as well as how you behave tomorrow not to say that you have to cut people off keep that in mind so i'm not promoting that at all but what i am saying is know when someone is not being a good person to you know when the messages that they are offering based on their perspectives is having a negative impact on your life if you notice that someone around you may be toxic you would be doing yourself a great service by putting a little distance between you and that person does not mean that you have to be rude doesn't mean that you have to use obscene language doesn't mean that you have to get into a physical fight all it means is that you have to take charge of your mental health and be responsible for yourself and for who you are as an individual and what you allow yourself to consume. Like I said, your diet is not only what you eat, it's all the things that you consume. It is important to make sure that the bulk of what you are consuming is good for you emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. It's amazing, honestly speaking, when you see that difference happening when you actually start putting putting certain things into practice and there are things that you can do every day to inject a little bit more positivity into your life you could check out inspirational quotes you could read books that have a positive message or read stories that have a moral lesson you can surround yourself with people who see you as a person and don't necessarily want to use you or hurt you but they want to push you in order for you to grow and for you to become a better person these are the things that are very very important if you are wrong people who let's say they only lime in every day or hanging out every day you may feel very inclined to hang out but if you are wrong people who are doing this school work i'm talking about going for their masters or going for their phd that seed is going to be planted in your mind and you are also going to feel like, you know what, maybe it's a good idea if I do this as well, because I'm seeing how these people are benefiting in their lives. And if maybe I take a page from their book, I too could benefit. So everyone, always keep that in mind, that when you think about your diet and being picky, because we are very picky with a lot of things in life. We're picky about the shoes that we buy when we go to the store. We're picky about the friend that we want to take to the mall with us when we go into shop. We're picky about the Christmas gifts that we might give to people or the way we would like our food prepared. But we're not picky about the shows that we watch or the things that we say to ourselves. We allow any and everyone to get into our space when they don't deserve that. So always keep in mind that your diet is far more than just what you eat. It is everything that you let into your body through your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and through your being. Keep that in mind and do yourself a favor and surround yourself with positivity because that's the only way to really and truly sustain some level of staying on the right track because you have external motivation or um, an internal motivation, which will be intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Allow yourself to have both. You motivate yourself and have the people around you motivate you. Have the shows that you watch encourage you to do better at your job. Have the books that you read make you feel better about how to interact with someone who may need help or teach you a lesson about how to function in a situation that you think you might end up in in the future. All of this to say, be mindful of what you let into your space. Protect your space. Protect your mind. Protect your emotions. Because there's no health without mental health. And the things or the people that you allow into your space can definitely impact your, your overall health. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you something just to think about. We're only scratching the surface in terms of this topic. But like I said, your diet is not just what you eat. It's everything that you allow your body to consume.